You can still buy coins with the new transaction method at golda.com. Check out the link in the video's description and use the code TOMLFC Heaven for 5% discount. What's up guys? I'm Tom FC Heaven and welcome back to the Inter Milan carrier mode with episode 2. If you want to see more and more episodes in this series, smash the like button and leave a comment which other players should I sign, but loads of you guys said that I should get this guy, Jason Mourinho. Mourinho is a young center back, he signed for Inter in real life this summer, and loads of you guys said that I should maybe uh, swap this, um, this young center back, Andre Oli, for him. Well, he's not young anymore, he's 28 and I think he, he would... Uh, that, that would be a good deal. So let's offer Andre Oli. Let's offer Andre Oli for 100,000 pounds. I don't know what Murillo's worth is, but you know, it's worth trying. Oh, this is brilliant. I, I'm glad I didn't offer them more money. So we are basically swapping Andre Oli for Murillo. Let's offer him a five year contract on 25 thousand weekly wages he would be a really good backup center back to have I'm not sure what his rating is and also the board sadly this is bad news the board said that they are not giving me any funds any more funds any more money because they haven't seen me seen enough of me at this club to make a decision Inter's formation is this in real life so let me know should I stick with this on this carrier mode as well I will try out different formations in pre-season of course I also wanted to show you my custom tactic that I usually play with. So this this is my custom tactic. Feel free to copy it and try it out. Of course, you can tinker with it. Uh, it's it's basically the best tactic for short passing, uh, counter attacking football. So now finally it's time for some gameplay, and this is the first preseason friendly, and I'm playing my strongest possible lineup: Palacio and Icardi up front. Shakiri behind them, Medel, Hernanes and Guarin in midfield, but of course I will rotate the side, but I want to try out as many players as possible in preseason. The first game in the iconic, iconic stadium, the Gi Giuseppe Melza stadium, or as AC Milan fans call it, the San Siro, but Inter fans call it Giuseppe Melza, because I think, I think that guy was an Inter legend. Oh, this is... Oh, this is dangerous. Good save, Handanovic. Kick, very dangerous position. No! Oh, Montoya cleared it off the line. No. No. Handanovic. No. No! Oh, my God. Handanovic saved it, but for a second, I thought that was in. Oh, Medel, what a steal. Please, oh yes, oh yes, Shakiri. Come on, Shakiri! Ah, oh, damn it! That was a good save by the keeper. Can I do something with Shakiri? Maybe. Medel! Oh, lucky. No, let's let's do a tricky corner. Oh, that's that's brilliant! Oh, it worked! Oh my god, Palacio! <laughs> what a goal! That corner, short corner routine worked like a charm. Palacio was in acres of space. And they will finish those chances every day. Great goal. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. And far post! It's 2! Palacio makes it 2-0! A classic textbook counter-attack! And Palacio is on fire! He scores 2 goals in the last 10 minutes! Yes! And Montoya, the new signing with the assist! Great header! Lovely goal! Get in! A brilliant first game with Inter! And this team feels... When I can get used to the players... I feel that I can score some really nice goals with this team. And Palacio with this great finishing scored two goals in the last 10 minutes. Rio accepted our contract, so let's get him in. We sign him for £100,000 plus Andreoli. I think that's a good deal because Andreoli is 28 years old, Murillo is 22. So welcome to the club. 
Hopefully he will be a good backup center back and he will improve his rating. Also, Icardi picked up a small injury. He's out for three weeks, but he will be fit for the start start of the new season. For the next preseason game, I changed a lot of the team, so this will be the lineup. And I'm trying out Guarin behind Palacio and Podolski. Let's see how that works. And yeah, basically the whole defense, Murillo comes in to the side as a new defender. And also many of you guys said I should play Jonathan at right back. And Nagatomo, I think, uh, he, I checked his stats, he can play left. Oh my god! Oh, Jonathan almost scored an own goal, what the hell? Oh no. No! Oh, come on. No! Bullshit! As I tackled so many times without getting the ball there. One, two, and they are, oh, man. That's so annoying. Come on, Palacio! Conduct beer! Put it in! Oh my fucking god, how did you not score that? I hit the post twice. You got to be joking, man. Go on. Go on, Guarin. Beautiful, Guarin! No, doesn't have the finishing. No. Oh my god. Completely outplayed, outclassed. This defense is just not good enough with Vidic and Murillo in the heart of it. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Come on, Podolski! Bang! No. I just can't finish with this team. Come on. Come on! Palacio! Palacio, put it in! And Kondogbia! And another! And uh, that's a penalty! Oh my fucking god! You got to be- What?! How's that- What?! How is that not a penalty? You got to be- You mong, you ref- Go on! Oh man, what a chance! What a chance! Go in! Another save by the keeper. It's only a preseason friendly, but it's a, a big warning sign. The problem with this team is that they don't have a lot of finishers. Apart from Palacio, Icardi, and Shakiri, the other players just can't finish. Maybe Podolski. He he has good finishing, but apart from those two, those four players, the midfielders. Uh, can't finish, we don't have enough good strikers at the club, that's the big problem. And I would love to sign Jovatic, but we just don't have enough money. So let me know guys, who should I sign, who is a good finisher and who could help this team. Oh yes, finally, this is huge news. Andrea Ranocchia, Ranocchia who is a good defender, but I don't really need him. Porto come in with a 3.5 million offer. We need the money guys, let's our counter up for them, 4.5 million. If we could sell Ranocchia, I think I could, I could afford Jovetic. So this could be a huge, huge transfer, a game changer. So hopefully Porto will accept the counter offer. The next preseason friendly and the start of the Serie A season and more transfers will be in the next episode. If you want to see that, it's very soon. Leave a like, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this. See you later guys, goodbye.